Hey guys, what's going on? It's Slacker here coming to you with episode 15 of our Kansas Rebuild Dynasty. We start off with some pretty good news here. We got a few recruits that have signed to our team. We're getting close to filling up. All of those scholarships are close to being filled up. We are down to actually only having six left. So we want to be careful and make sure that we get the six players that we want. Yes, we've been going after more than six players, but there are a few players I really, really want and really want to try hard to get. So we're going to try to go ahead and do that. Wouldn't mind having Patrick Thomas. Wouldn't mind getting a free safety. Um, the tight end would be great if we can get Eric Robbins. We're, we're also wanting to make sure that we do get the two athletes and get Rich Rawls definitely our top three people there so we're kind of looking at those three and then three other people so we lead right now we lead georgia state on reggie robinson we're hoping that we can somehow get these guys before the end of the week we did go ahead and get clint tucker and john gallagher so that means those are two people we can't get so we're down to four Darnell Rogers, looking at the recruiting class, we did really, really good this year. We still have a few people we're wanting to get with our remaining scholarships. We only have four scholarships left, so we want to make sure that we're paying close attention to who we are offering them to. We offered them to a lot of people, but we're going to try to back off of some of the people that we don't really want and put more focus on the people that we do want. We are trying to get them signed before the last week. If we can't, then we'll go ahead and try to sign them in the off season. The Heisman winner is gonna be Johnny Manziel this year. And we get into a bowl game and not only a bowl game, but a high caliber bowl game. The AT&T Cotton Bowl is a BCS game. We're gonna go against number 12, Florida. They are eight and four, five and three in the SEC. So actually really surprised. We did get a few trophies here. Tony Pearson got the Blitnikoff. Our kicker got the Lou Groza Award as well. And Pearson got the Returner of the Year. Not surprised there, but he does win wide receiver of the year and Returner of the Year. Tony Pearson, probably our best player this year. Going over some of the bowl games, some of the bowl games are kind of lopsided, so I'm not honestly sure how they pick these games, um, but you know, we're happy we got into a BCS bowl game. We really are. We're happy that we got into a bowl game to begin with. Obviously, at 10-2, and two, we are going to get into a bowl game. It was just a matter of which bowl games. So, as you can see here, K-State got into the Alamo Bowl, so they didn't even get a BCS Bowl. So by us getting the bowl we got, we were super excited. We're playing Florida. We were supposed to play Arizona, but they got into the Sun Bowl, and they are going to play Wake Forest. Now getting into some of the BCS Bowls, we got the Rose Bowl, Ohio State, is going up against Oregon. Arkansas State in the Fiesta Bowl against Fresno State. Both of those teams kind of down. I mean, it's the, the matchups. I, I, I don't know about the matchups. However, we did make it to a BCS Bowl game. We play in the Cotton Bowl against Florida. We are super excited. The Texas A&M Texas in the Sugar Bowl is going to be a good game. And the game we all want to see is Bama against OU. OU did jump Bama. Herb Street thinks that Bama will win this game. However, we played OU. We know how good they are. Looking at the game preview, Bama does have the advantage. They have A-plus overall, A-plus offense, A-plus defense, number two on points per game, top five and pretty much everything else. They've pretty much handled their victories easy. Oklahoma, pretty easy too. They did go to overtime against Texas. We put up a lot of points on them, but they still beat us. Alabama, as you can see here, they pretty much blew everyone out. So Bama, I would say, is probably going to win, but we will find out soon enough. Going on to the award winners, Johnny Manziel wins the Walter Camp Award. He won the Heisman. The Bednart goes to Arizona's defender 
Marcus Flowers. Dexter Linton, number five. Actually, kind of surprised he made it up there to number five, but we're happy about that. Manziel also winning the O'Brien. Keelan or Kylan Butler winning the running back of the year. The wide receiver of the year is our own Tony Pearson. Mad props to him. Mackey goes to Cincinnati's tight end. Outland Award goes to Texas A&M's left tackle. Remington OU gets the winner there. Texas Tech gets the Lombardi Trophy. Good for him. Again, Marcus Flowers with the best linebacker. Thorpe Award, Dexter Linton coming in at number six. We won the Lou Groza Award with our kicker. Happy with that. So we're not actually upset by who got what. I'm surprised we actually won a few awards. So Tony Pearson also winning the Returner of the Year. We saw that earlier. Definitely, definitely knew he was going to win Returner of the Year. He's been the best Returner easily. As you can see here, the next guy had 809 yards. We had 2,250 kick return yards. So definitely going to win it there. Maxwell also goes to Johnny Manziel. This is going to do it for this episode. Next week, we will be bringing you the Florida Gators versus the Kansas Jayhawks in the BCS Bowl game. We're so excited to be in the Bowl game. We're ready to go up against that Florida defense, ready to go against that SEC power. Thank you guys so much. I know it was a short episode, but make sure you guys stick around, hit that red subscribe button, and check out next week's video. Till next time, slacker out.